Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey guys, my name is Chris and I'm the Parker Students Coordinator. Today, we're gonna talk about the topic of prayer. So in Colossians chapter four, verses two through four, Paul says this about prayer and I'm gonna read it from my Bible. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Pray for us too, that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. That is why I am here in chains. Pray that I will proclaim this message as clearly as I should. So in Paul's letter to the people of Colossae, he's first of all telling them what their mindset should be like when they pray. Prayer should be something that you devote time to, your mind should be alert when you pray, and your heart should be thankful when praying. So what does this mean for us as Christians in today's world? Personally, I pray and talk to God often throughout my day, but there's something different about devoting a certain amount of time every day to sit down and pray to God. I know I feel so much better when I actually devote an hour to journal my prayers to God. God wants our undivided attention, and we also need that as believers. It helps to fill us up spiritually, and it strengthens our relationship with God. Just like with a friend or a spouse or a family member, you feel m more filled up and connected to them when they give you their undivided attention, right? This scripture also says to keep an alert mind when you pray. This means when you devote your time to prayer, you should keep yourself focused on that prayer time with God. It's okay to casually pray throughout your day, I do that, but when you're devoting specific time to prayer, try to stay focused and alert on what God is wanting you to pray for. Lastly, make sure your heart is thankful when you pray. In my own life, I noticed, I noticed a huge difference in my spiritual growth when I started prioritizing thanking God for at least one thing each time I pray. Now, I think of others more, I have a more positive outlook on life, I'm much more grateful, and I have a lot more joy. Paul's words of encouragement on to how to pray aren't just empty words. The formula really does work to strengthen your relationship with God and to grow more spiritually. This week, try to devote time to prayer every day, even if it's just 10 minutes. Keep your mind alert when praying and express your thankfulness to God. Have a good day. Bye.